this is the automation video and <clears throat> you're gonna see that in the automation and just like the MIDI workstation and the multi-track and and the other views where you do editing uh, it, it's it's all a lot of the same key moves a lot of the same key moves uh, and uh, automation the way it shows up on the screen here in the MIDI workstation is 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 the same way that the uh, the data the controller data shows up in the MIDI workstation and you can manipulate it uh, this in the same way a lot of the same ways I'll say but I'm gonna go over some of the fundamentals here just to get you in and uh, some of the intricate stuff you can read up on the manual but I'll cover enough stuff so that you could use it and be on your way uh, first uh, to turn on automation mode you just hit the A key on the keyboard that's the A key or you can go up right up here and hit the left click on the automation and when that's uh, it's on it's on you, you'll see see how the color changes that lets you know that you're in automation mode just like that very simple uh, to write automation it is as simple as hitting the automation pressing the play and start writing and you can see it in real time and every automation uh, has its own color and watch right here we wrote automation holy cow couldn't be simpler press a button and and it's that's it's that easy the way you select automation let's uh, make it a little bigger for you is down here with the left drag you can select it that way that's how you can select it you notice it's and that's the C key to to clear it to unselect it you can use the B key say I want to select it right there that's the B I'm pressing the B key and I'm gonna get that space there I'm gonna press the E key same as the other ways uh, other windows very simple that's how you can select them various ways and the C key of course on selects them. now you can move automation just like you would a region see I can I can sh go down here do the old shift grab bring it over well if I select an area I'm just I, okay I select that area right I can shift left left click and move that selection right where I want it see how that worked that's a sh the shift left click and it will only go left or right I can also hold down the control key left click and move it down there just like a region very very easy to do right move that shift left click up there okay that's how you can move it I mean whatever you have highlighted there if I highlight this whole thing I can move the I can move it down a bit put it right where I want it that's the shift the shift and control left click um, moves that are basically almost in every editing they're in every single editing uh, window where you can do edits very simple to move that stuff okay so show you how to move some stuff there and you can also nudge like we nudge the uh, um, the regions we can nudge the automation I can select an area and with my right arrow key or left arrow key that's what I did and and just like <clears throat> I'll do that again let's let's uh, let's go down here so you can see it oh, let me just get smaller there there I'll come back up here I selected that area and remember if you, you remember the MT, the multi-track editing if you watch that video it's the same way of nudging so wherever the I'm I'm on this hot track and I have this automation selected. Here's the here's the cursor, and if I left arrow or right arrow, 
I'm right out, you know, it's going to, it's going to snap, it's going to snap that uh, selected area to the, to the right of the cursor, and then it's going to start nudging it, whatever way you want to go. This is the left arrow, the right arrow. You can nudge the automation, and that can come in real handy. And you know, you can, you can go get way down in there, way down in there to each automation. And, and you can alter one automation at a time if you want. I don't think I'd want to do that, but it's there if you want to. Okay, that's how you nudge. Very easy to do. And uh, now you can also, with the shift, control, left click, move, you, you still have that copy. We can copy with that with the, you know, shift, left click, move that guy, and tap the right mouse key while well, I'm holding down the left key mouse key and I just uh, copied that the you you can use the tab key in uh, automation you can you can tab in between these guys with the control hold the country the control key down and tab and if you hold the shift control key you can go backwards. I'll do that one more time. It's hold the control key down and tab. If you hold the shift and the control key down at the same time, you can go backwards. In between each one of your automation entries. How about that? Okay. Let's go. Uh, go over the view filter and what that is if you go up here and uh, well you can press the V key as in Victor on the keyboard if you watch right here V key that turns on the view filter mode and you can also right click the automation if you uh, if you right click that automation uh, button this window opens up where you can select just the automation you want to see so I'm gonna click uh, let's see here right right, right here this is uh, the input fader there if I go up here and right click and let's uh, I want to see the the pan look there's, it w blocks it out. It view filters it out. That's all that does. And you can go right to it. You can watch, uh, watch right here. It takes you right to the, the the actual control that the automation would be linked to. You know, if I had automation here with the the pan, the aux uh, two pan here, and did some, and then select that, it will take me right there. It will show it on the multi-track and then take me to that part of the mixer, which is pretty cool. But that's the uh, a, a quick little glimpse into the view filter mode. It's pretty simple. Right click, you're in there. Turn that's the V key. Filters out only what you want to see. Now there's a button here called off. This stands for offset. What it does is it allows you to take the overall, this overall entry, and if you want to raise it just a smidge, say the entry is everything, but overall this whole thing is just needs to come up a, a dB or two, you know? You just come over here, press offset, and just tweak it ever so lightly. And see what it did? It just tweaked it just that much. But, uh, that's offset. That's that's what it does. That's a pretty pretty easy thing to do. I'm I'm gonna select this area. Overall, this all this automation is just a bit. It just needs to be tweaked up a little bit. Or I need to bring it down a bit. I'm gonna bring it down just that much. Oh, I didn't have offset set. So there, I set it up. I'm gonna bring it down just a smidge overall. See that? 
Done deal. That's what offset does. How would you delete this? This uh, well, there's a couple ways. I can press the delete key. Excuse me. Or I can go up to the automation menu and I can click clear all entries on tracks. There you go. And you have these other options here: fade, fade down up to next automation change and. And, and you can set your mute slope, fader slope, and stuff. You can read up more on this in the help file. This is the more intricate stuff for those people who want to automate to the millisecond, to the, the, I mean, just, you can, you can, you can really, really get in there and start tweaking stuff. It's, it's, it's there for if you want to. Okay, so if we wanted to clear that, we'd just, it would ask us, say yes, and it cleared it all. And I also could have pressed the delete key too. And of course, the C key does uh, gets our uh, clears our selections there. But that uh, pretty much does it for automation mode. And don't forget that you can use automation on all these all these controls, all of them. I mean, you can. Pans and volumes, ins and outs, uh, your your effects, your compressors, gates, EQs. You can use the automation on the the, the swap here, the the mono. I mean, it's extensive uh, the reach that automation has in Saw Studio, but it is very simple to do. It's just to write it. You can, you know, you can. You can write the automation right here, like that. Um, see the little mark there? It's my. It's probably hard to see. Okay, let's bring. Here's an automation move. I just wrote that. Or you can have the player, the the. You can have it the transport moving and doing it on the fly. Or you can just you can set it up right where you want it, and just go left. See, I just wrote it right there, and then at that point, come back. You can precisionally put it in where you want. I can solo it right there. It's it's right there if you can see it right there. There, better to see. And right here, I want to turn on my X Y pan. I mean, it, it, the the things you could do are just immense. You can write automation on the fly, or you can one little thing at a time. And this actually, to do it like this, is is actually a very convenient thing because you can have a piece here that uh, say say you have a song coming here and the, the song's playing and everything's cruising right along, and you have a guitar solo coming in and you just want to tweak down. Say the rhythm guitar needs to be just a bit lower for the duration of the solo. Well, you can just go right to where that starts and you can just lower it just ever so slightly and when the solo's over you can well that you can raise it back up to where it was at and you just made a just it's an automation change that will be there and it will be awesome so that's automation mode in saw studio and uh, learn to use it if you have to go through the manual and tweak some of the stuff learn a little more intricate stuff I mean Go right ahead, but you gotta love the automation mode.